Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, nice to meet you. My name is Suzin, and uh, today I'm going to talk about the recent graphic that I work named um, NDP Song Project. So today we are going to exploring the Singaporean the NDP songs, lyrics, sounds, and emotion. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get started. <laughs> okay, so let me introduce myself a little bit. Uh, my name is Suzin, and I, I came from South Korea. So I live in there entire my life, and uh, last January I moved to Singapore because of the, my work. Uh, yeah, so previously I studied in music college for four years. And then after that, I really wanted to make my own the music application, but I couldn't do right now the single line of the code. So I started um, the Python running community with my fr fr some friends and learned, and I was like, it was amazing work. So I keep learning, and I um, started my career as a product manager for three years. So I wanted to more like developer developing side. So I wanted to change my career. So blah blah blah, thing happened. So <laughs> I moved to Singapore. So for now, it's a first. Um, uh, first, uh, first the company that I work as a web developer, so I am very new. <laughs> okay. So, do you know NDP songs? Right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. You can uh, you can go to this link, str.sg/slash NDP songs nineteen, and you can explore the visualization work that I did. And you can also go to this link, and then you can um, access this slide. Okay. Uh, before getting to start, I will explain what is the NDP songs. Yeah, in shortly. So, what is NDP songs? So, since 1980s, Singapore government has commissioned national songs to implicate a uh, civil religion that distracts favor and towards the nation. So, make more Singaporean more happy, and Great five, yeah. So what Rikanya says that uh, this is the one way of building a nation, and it is very necessary way. So we want to encourage this habit of singing. So I bet everyone can sing very well. <laughs> okay. So also it stress the themes such as love, belonging, pride, attaining excellence, unity, commitment to the Singapore productivity, hard work, and teamwork. Such kind of the good things. Yeah, so briefly, the NDP songs can be divided into the three stages. The first stage is uh, national building, and the second is a uh, local talent focus on like the Singaporeans, and then the, for now they are trying to appeal to the younger generation. So this is an uh, overview of my our the team visualization work. So we focus on the three top topics, uh, which is. Uh, which are the lyrics, sound, and emotion. So based on the, these research questions, we gather the data. Sometimes or so we are so figure out, figure out which data is more suitable. And then we finalize uh, the visual and the design and yeah, the make the website. So let's go inside the lyrics part at the first. So you can go to this link, and then you can see my the Python code in there. Um, in terms of the lyrics, there are many approaches, but the most interesting thing is that the ML, using the MLP, National Language Processing. So I exactly follow the, this uh, recipe to analyze the lyrics. So uh, to before the start, I collected all the lyrics, the data over the. 26 songs. And then I also did the text processing. So remove start words and punctuation and space, uh, white spaces, and did um, the text normalization like the steaming, and, uh, and then convert into the non, yeah, kind of that. Uh, and then also I did the word standardization, extending the construction and fix some typo errors by the model. And then finally, if you are, your data is already, and then you can go inside the feature engineering stuff, like make the back of the words model or, or TIDF, yeah, 
water to buy, or so you can do the cos cosine similarities and um, this is the parallelism. And okay, this uh, writer is a copy, someone else writing, yeah, something like kind of that. So after that, I delivered the data to the designer and the journalist. So they are trying to find out then what is the top was in the older lyrics. So this is the data that I gave to them. And then we make the back of the world model. And then this data is converted into the finalized graphic. So our designer make this nice the heat map based on our data. Yeah. So I don't know, you may know the previous the risk research question. So our research question was the how NDP song readers has been have changed over the years. So based on the based on our data, we found that together peak at 21 times in 2013, one song named Singapore, one Singapore. And Dream has been the most continuously used. Only six songs have not used in the over the years. So that was quite interesting for me. Okay. The next sound analysis. This is the most fun part that I did. Um, so if you want to uh, analyze the sounds of pot, you may know about the good understanding about the signal processing or frame uh, transformation, something like that. So it is very, very hard and tricky to start and get the information data from the sound, it's like the sound waveform. So uh, instead, instead of the, those kind of approaches, uh, I found a very good uh, the API in the Spotify. So if you go to the Spotify.com and then you can find the, a lot of the APIs which support the sounds analysis based on their algorithm. So when I fetch the data um, uh, on the particular the ID unif uh, ID, and then I can retrieve such kind of the information data. For example, I can also see dura duration, key mode, time signature, acoustics, sensibility, energy, blah blah blah, something like that. And then I did draw the chart okay, using the Python library. So it was the pretty cool. Uh, but but however, you can see that there are so many information. So we wanna want to get which quali qualities are more important and more understandable for uh, the normal readers. So we filter uh, features and min-max min normalizations. And then change name names to be more familiar word. For example, speechiness. When I say the speechiness to my mother and then she might not know that, what is that, <laughs> right? The violence, if I said that, no one can understand. So instead of using Little bit sounds sophisticated and scientific word to be more we sounds like natural or the familiar familiar. So we change the word and then draw the speech chart. Actually I was trying to make um, the radar chart using the D3 and Vue.js, but I I couldn't do that. So if you wanted to draw uh, based on the mathematics then you can visit this link and to follow the tutorial. So after that, we also the main uh, the music search widget based on the uh, the qualities yeah that we got from from the Spotify. So it was pretty cool. And and also we uh, our journalists um, make the storyline based on the data. So we compare between the real Singapore original and then uh, the remix version. So it was quite interesting. We overlay the two different uh, songs uh, polygon at the same the place, and then we can figure out the which qualities are really effective and different. So for example, the sp spoken words are increased. And then I don't know how many of you guys have heard listen this music, but the introduction the part, um, there is a rap part, a uh, song by Lion. Lion? Yeah, <laughs> I forgot his name. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the rap uh, part is uh, there. And then uh, danceability, you can see there significantly um, the latio is uh, increased. So it means that this music has more beat in the background. So how NDP song appeals to young, younger audiences with remix and pop melodies? So 
I don't know is it correct, but it seems to be uh, carried on in the pop sensibilities and a bit uh, vibrant to appeal to younger audiences. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the develop development side. So I'm going to um, tell about how we build the interactive user uh, plot. Uh, so we designed the interactive user simulation chart based on the losses co complex the model. Uh, actually, the, he uh, suggests that uh, all the universe share the same emotion um, regardless of the culture or race or the nationalities. So this chart identified uh, two dimensions of the emotion, which are the balance and the reserve. So this model characteristics the subjective uh, aspect of the emotion as opposed to the cognitive or the biological aspects. So it's very, very um, con subjective uh, diagram. So if we, if we uh, apply this model into the music area, so we are so uh, no, can uh, figure out that uh, which uh, okay this music is sounds a bit uh, happier or relax and make more me sad or make me more dance kind of that. So currently the many um, the music uh, mood recognition or music classification that using the machine learning or deep learning model they use the, this model. So this is quite well known. Um, the mode model using mode, mode. so <clears throat> so we want to make more simplified so we get rid of all the like uh, the inner circle and then uh, introduce uh, the emojis on the axis so this is the final version that we made so now I am going to tell about uh, the overview of interactive emotion chart development. Yeah, so I made with uh, Vue.js. So if you see that and you can uh, divide this whole chunk of the chart uh, into the three sections, the carousel plot and the scatter plot and the submit button. So actually, this is very, very tricky to understand the whole of uh, state the flow, but I wanted to delete more simplify and then like make more you guys more be uh, to understand the whole the structures. So basically, <coughs> there are two states, two main the state, which is which are the on stage and the stage. So when you drag the component in here and then drag it here, and the dragging and active is updated, and then if you drop down here. And then there, the condition will be checked. Okay, this circle is here or not. So if the circle inside the plot, and then stage will be push the new element, and then uh, automatically the on stage is a filter. So yeah, so this is in this uh, kind of the interactive chart. It's very important to keep uh, to know that the this length and this length, the width, which are the width and height. So how I uh, make the component draggable? It also support a uh, mobile and a web. So instead of making uh, my own the component, component, I use this library, uh, view draggable resizable. I don't, I didn't use resizable a uh, function inside, uh, but it was the pretty well function that I can use. Yeah, and then applied. So it also support a lot of functionality inside there. So you can also define handlers for the resizing or restrict the size and movement to the parent element or so uh, snap the element to custom grid, yeah, something like that. But it also have the, some problem because um, if you wanted to prevent native scrolling on the mobile browser, it is very important uh, to add the event um, to add the stop propagation and the prevent default. So when I ignore the, this the function in here, and when I the drag and drop down the circle inside the here, the mobile doesn't work properly. So after I apply this solution, and then there was no any kind of the problem anymore. 
So this is one solution that I solved. Yeah, so then let's figure out how, uh, how, how can we uh, validate the data is valid in here or not. So it's a very simple like mathematics. <laughs> so if we know that the starting, the this coordinate and this coordinate, and we can calculate the length, width, right? And then we also know that the width. And we can just uh, figure out, okay, this point is here, here to here, and then, okay, it match. And then it's in plot, it will be true. Otherwise, it would be false. Yeah. So then how, how we, we know that uh, the scatter plot coordinates, the full coordinate? So um, as, a, as, my, um, as a front end developer, we have to know that, uh, we have to make sure that we, uh, all the websites should be support uh, all cross browsers and devices at the same time. So it's a very tricky to, um, to make and to keep the, keep the same time. So we can also use the get bounding client to lag method and simply subtracting the coordinates of the parents. Yeah. And, <laughs> and also, yeah, you can see the code inside here. And then final, uh, fi at the final, and then we can get the range the here. So even though the browser with uh, the screen size has changed, or if you use a different uh, screen size of the mobile, and the, all the functionality will be um, occur, and then we can keep the same, um, uh, same, same the coordinate. I mean the same, yeah, same look. So, so how can we make the responsive chart? So, if uh, how to keep all the data position across all the screen size? Uh, if if we can say that this is the mobile and that this one is a desktop. So the screen size might be different, right? The two, if, if we say that two, some, two times more expand and scale up, and your job is, is going to be to keep the th same the position in here and here. So for, uh, for, to solve this problem, and you can use the scale factor corresponding to x and y. So also we can use the simple um, mathematical formula in here. So we already know that this length, right? So to get the uh, scale factor, uh, smaller length that divide can be the larger length. And we can get the ratio each point. So this point will be uh, saved in our DB database. And no matter this length will be changed or not, right? If we know the ratio and then just uh, multiply, the whole length, and then we can get uh, the each point. Yeah. So uh, on the other hand, I also had some very like tricky problem. The one thing is that the controlling the J index on SVG element. So basically, the J index in an SVG is defined by the order of the elements appear in the document. So it doesn't work on the SVG elements such as a G or path or a circle kind of that. So uh, in the last, uh, last graphic, uh, you can see that when you hover on the circle and then uh, the circle should be up here on the top, but it wasn't, doesn't. The JX does not work. <laughs> so what I did was uh, to plotting things on the top uh, by reordering and appending to them. So make sure that don't forget to update its date. So that's very important. So another thing that I run is that don't use index as a key on the transition group. So there are so many interactions and animation is going here and there. And you, you maybe use the uh, views transition group group, but it also had, I also faced some problem. The animation was tweaking and that does not work yeah, sometimes. So I figure out what's the reason. 
Um, the main reason was that I you just use directory the index in the key. So the list will never uh, have anything move animation when it when the list is reordered and it defects the purpose of the using the transition group. So don't use the index directly here um, inside the key. So you have to make sure to use unique key. Okay, <laughs> the, this is the final lizard. So what I felt um, was it was the whole process was very interesting and very fun. Yeah, and also very interactive. So I can also play uh, and listen to music and get to know about the Singaporean the music as well. But on the other hand, uh, I found that most data points are packed in the center of the plot. Uh, because uh, for users, they have to implement six, uh, 26 um, steps, right? So no one, I bet no one <laughs> completed all the um, implements. So that's why I think that most of the points are packed and then just uh, gather inside the bear. Okay, so which N NDP songs is embedded in Singapore's soul? So in my opinion, I think that those are groups are can be the will of the song by the Singaporeans. The, the for example, we will get there where where I belong and reach out for the skies. Okay, um, let's wrap up. <laughs> so this is the story uh, in the working process that I did. So I hope you guys have some uh, inspiration or get some ideas. Uh, for your data visualization or the storytelling. So if you go to the, this link and you can check our team uh, interactive graphics, it is amazing. And also you can grab some ideas from our work. So I hope you guys visit the link and enjoy a lot. Okay, so I'm also very interested in the music and on my hobby is a running, so if you want to run with me and just talk to me, okay? okay thank you for uh, listening to my talk. Thank you.